Booyah guys, it's me, the Red Cyber, and today I will talk about Naruto. Yeah, I know it's pretty vague for now, but if you read the title, you will know exactly what I will be talking about. And it's the fact that if you take every flashback from Naruto, you can get a pretty awesome Netflix anthology series. Now I know you're going to ask yourself why I am talking about a live action Naruto series. Well it's because I want to do a fictional pitch for a Naruto live action series, as I think the flashback from the Naruto franchise would be perfect for it. And because I want to see if I could do better than the people responsible for shitty anime adaptation like Dragon Ball Evolution. Frankly I think anyone can even a child, but still, could be fun. As always, this is my opinion about the subject, so it's okay if you disagree, since we are all different from one another. Oh yes, yeah, sorry if I mispronounce a name, or really anything in the Naruto franchise, it's not intentional, and I hope this doesn't influence what you think of the video. Now why would adapting only the flashback be the best way to adapt Naruto into a live action series? Well it's because it can give something new to the viewer. What I mean by that is that if you're going to do a live action Naruto movie or show, it has a lot of chance to fail because it doesn't do anything more than what the anime already did, which is adapting the source material. I think that's one of the reasons why life action anime are so stale. The reality is, the movie always tried to adapt big art in a single movie, like it's the case with a movie like Tokyo Ghoul. And even a simple retelling of a story as faithful as it can be, bring nothing to the viewer that the source material or the anime didn't do in the first place. So why not just watch the original if you aren't gonna change anything? But if you're gonna tell the story of Naruto but change too much, it's just not the same. I think the best thing is to give side or parallel story to the main one to the viewer. Well, if you take every flashback in the Naruto franchise, you get the perfect series to adapt into a Netflix anthology series. I mean Itachi alone could take a whole season to get through his backstory, and more if you really wanted to. But there's more. Full episode could be dedicated to every part of the Naruto universe, with some about Kabuto and his childhood, while other could be about Gaara's backstory. This could be, in my opinion, the perfect way to make a Naruto live action series. Not only the darker tone of the Naruto flashback lends itself perfectly to a Netflix series, but it could also be the Ninja Tam equivalent to Black Mirror, bringing the darker tone of the Naruto universe front and center. Doing it that way could end up proving that a great anime adaptation into live action could produce good TV series overall. And it's not like the Naruto franchise wasn't already full of flashback as it is, so it's not like they're gonna run out of idea anytime soon. I think that with this series the possibility could be almost endless, as you could go on to follow the backstory of a classic character to a non-ninja. They could even adapt some light novel story, plus if they really wanted, they could even show classic story from different point of view, like the time QB destroyed the village, but from the point of view of Iruka, or the point of view of a Uchiha who is unrelated to Itachi during the murder of the clan. Or we could see more of the other village. I mean, they could even ask Kishimoto to supervise all the additional story and do the basis for all new character and story that could be exclusive to this series. It could be really cool that way, because that would make those story canon in a sense. But maybe that would be too much to ask. So yeah, it's safe to say that the possibility for this series could be amazing. To conclude, I think you all now understand why the flashback found in Naruto would be the perfect anthology series for a Netflix show. At the very least, it would be better than the Netflix live-action movie of Death Note. God damn it, Netflix! 
Well, not to say you cannot like it if you do, just that it wasn't really Death Note at all in my opinion. So what do you think? Do you also think that this is a good movie idea? Or that I am just wrong? Do you have any idea of your own for a live action anime series that you personally think could be great? Well, you can tell me in the comment section below. So don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe if you like the video and to want more videos like those.